Hello everyone, uh, today we're doing part 2 of this 12-bit editor tutorial series, now as you can see, we have a little scene here that I just created off the fly. The trouble is that I didn't explain in the last video, uh, if I, so you can duplicate things, like if you click on them, and then you press, you hold down alt, and then you can drag the duplicates, so you can do that. Uh, let's see, let's trying to think of what I didn't explain. Um, huh. I don't know. Anyway, um, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, I was going to explain it all, and then I made a video that I thought it was corrupted, but then it didn't get corrupted, and then I deleted it anyway. So yeah, most of this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. So yeah. This like blue stuff is a play is the play area and that's a whole spawn here. So that's where you spawn in. This is where you are able to play and then there's a little pool here. Uh so yeah, I think there's a couple things that I do want to sort of maybe explain. These force fields just allow you to push the player around. And then these gravity will allow you to affect gravity and shit. It's pretty cool. And there's like planets. Yeah, I think I'm gonna focus on events for this video because events are a lot are a pretty big part of this game. So, I'm gonna, so events are in the game section right here. So you wanna click on it and then you can put it in here. Uh, holy shit! The fuck? The fuck? The fuck? Okay. You wanna drag it up and it starts off as this basically. You can right click and then rename it and all that. Now, this is where things start to accommodate. But basically, you can. This is where you start whatever action you wanna perform and then this is where it ends. So. You can select an object, the ball, or the world itself. But I'm gonna select an object, and let's just say we want to select the. Uh, let's say, um, let's say that. Yeah. You can change any of these, so you can do like relocate visibility, collision, etc., etc. A lot of these are kind of self-explanatory, so yeah. But some of these aren't. Some of these aren't entirely. Anyway, so let's say we do a visibility to boss. So we can do that. We can select another object. So let's say we select this. And let's say we do collision. And we set that to false. And then we can also select the ball as well. And then we can do that. So let's say we resize it to, I don't know, 555. Five, five. Uh, actually, no, two, 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 yeah. And then the end of the two, I don't really think you need that if you just have this. So you can like move it. And basically, once the ball goes through it, things start to happen. So if I do this, oops, I don't know. So yeah, if I just kind of move that here. If you want to get, want to guarantee that they hit it, you can just do something like this, or you can like, do it so that it, they hit it on spawn as well. And basically, once I play, and I run into it. That happens, and that also happens. <laughs> but yeah, oh. Yeah, things like get that complicated when you do shit like this, because it'll look really, it'll look really weird. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, this might be impossible. No, it's kind of impossible. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, you can. But yeah. Some other things you can do with this as well, you can change the world itself, so you can kind of like do some shit with that. I don't really mess with that. I normally just do kind of like objects on the ball. So you can like edge strokes, etc. That's pretty nice. So you can do that. Uh, you can reset the, the start or the last position. You can do, you can like actually like add golf balls, golf clubs, which is like the which is like separate clubs which allow you to. Smack the ball at different heights and speeds and shit. Uh, let's see how. You can change it. That you can change if it has collision or not. Uh, you can checkpoint. I'm not sure what that is. Consistent something. But yeah. There's, a couple, there's some interesting stuff here. So yeah, that allows you to do that. And there's a lot of other things that you can do with it. Like you can like move stuff. Things like the, the transformer 
I said, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of that. Um, if you want to, like, have it so once they hit, once they, like, so if it's like a, uh, leave and overlap, here's when the player leaves it. Oh, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Either way, that's that. Um, what else can I explain? Oh, what else would I really need to explain? Uh, there's also like kind of these things, like this, it's like all these things, like that, that kind of thing. There's, there's like effects, like nothing too complicated. You can also use these side obstructions if you want to hide the event, so you can kind of like do kind of like something like. Well, I mean, it already goes invisible in game, but you can make it a bit more obvious, a little bit. I guess I don't know, <laughs> but basically. Yeah, I think that's might be it for now. But I don't know. Let me see if there's anything else that needs explaining. Uh, I'll probably run through a couple example holes you can make in the next episode, and then yeah, and then I might actually release this. I'm not sure, but yeah, uh, that was episode two of the Delta Editor tutorial series. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy, and I'll catch up next time. See ya.